Welcome back to the VST channel. This here is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and this here is the Vivo X100 Ultra. Both of them using the very latest and greatest SoC, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the highest spec in terms of RAM and storage and all of this, UFS 4, LPDDR X5, everything here. So in this video guys, as you can see I've charged both phones too. 100% and as I told you yesterday I am about to run the brutal one hour CPU torture thermal throttling test but this here is the default number of threads 20 when you install the CPU thermal throttling app you're gonna get 20 threads I'm gonna input here 100 all right so the number of threads is gonna be 100 and I am going to run this for a brutal 60 minutes. Of course, if the phone are able to endure, right? So I'm gonna put here 60 again. I'm gonna save this, save this. And without any further ado, guys, I'm gonna be starting what is like the most brutal test. I'm going to put my phone on DND. Everything has been cleared. And before I start, I wanna show you the baseline starting temps, which is 35 for the Vivo and 35 almost for the Samsung. So without any further ado, you guys, I'm gonna hit the start button. I'm gonna do some temp measurements every 10 minutes to see what is going on. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be analyzing the results. And why are we doing this? Well, the idea is to see the sustained performance. So what does this mean? If we have stable graph like here in the beginning and here, right? Or if we see green, this means that the phone is performing with uh, this level of performance. Right now, this green line here is 80%. But if we see drops like this, it's gonna go to the red area, meaning that the phone, after producing a lot of heat, right? While maximizing the performance, of course, will work with, let's say, 80, 90%, boom, then go and do a drop like here. We see already the first drop. And eventually it can also go very bad and perform very, very bad with drops down to 40% of the performance. And at the end of the video, we're going to be seeing, comparing the average performance in GIPS on the both the S24 Ultra on the left and the Vivo X100 Ultra on the right. So buckle up guys, subscribe for the channel because this here is real testing. If you like testing like this and let's start. In the very first almost two minutes in the test, we see the Vivo already dropping down to like 60%, right? Like th this will not necessarily mean that it's bad because again, it will matter what will happen at the end. But this test will allow us to see what Samsung and what Vivo is implementing in terms of thermal management. This will happen in a real use case scenario when you take your phone and game for one, two, three hours until of course you run out of battery, right? And you know how it goes the temperature raises and it kind of like burn your hands sometimes, right? Yeah, but you can endure this. But what you cannot endure is losing that sweet FPS. So, 41.6 Celsius already on the S24 Ultra and 41.7, like right now, they are almost uh, delivering the same performance. Also, guys, but it's very, very important. Take a look at this. This is the performance in real time. It is steadily more than 400. As to what I see on the Samsung, yeah, now the first drops on the Samsung is below 400, okay? So this is already an indication on how things might develop. But all right, we still have to do 56 minutes. And this is what this test is called the thermal throttling torture test. Let's keep going. The first 10 minutes of the test are over and we are using 42.9, I was 43 on the Samsung, 46.1 on the Vivo. But forget about this. You know the story that one picture is worth more than a thousand words. In this case, that's true because we can already see that the S24 Ultra going down to the orange and also red area, which means 60, even below 60% of performance. Right now, the performance in real time is 330 versus 383. So. Right now, just from the first 10 minutes, it seems that the sustained performance that the Vivo X100 Ultra is delivering to this point of time is better. But let's wait and see what will happen at the end. This is really surprising me. I was getting very good results with the S23 Ultra. By the way, I'm running here the latest June update. There are people already complaining about heating and battery issues. 
So we might need to redo this once we get the magical updates, but it's always with Samsung, this magical updates and magic and magic, and sometimes the magic just never happens. All right, enough about the magic, let's continue. The first 30 minutes of the test are over and we see 42.6 on the S24 Ultra and a whooping 49.9, almost 50 Celsius on the Vivo X100. And we can also see how gradual the graph starts with green going to yellow and I suspect also at some point maybe touching the orange. What we see on the S24 Ultra is a bit disappointing again. I don't remember seeing this with my S devices, so I really hope that Samsung will try to fix this. There are numerous people complaining about the two updates we got in June. The performance is shy above 300 GIPS and here it's more than 350. So I think it's obvious we are circa like 70-80%, 75 to 80% and here we are like 60%. So right now what we see clearly a better sustained performance on the Vivo X100 Ultra, but again, there is still another 30 minutes. So let's continue. And we are now 40 minutes in the test, the S24 Ultra running with 43.7 and I can feel the heat from the Vivo, 50.3. And the results right now in real time, performance is steadily more than 360 and sadly below 300G IPS for the S24 Ultra. But again, just the color is selling the whole story. Another 20 minutes to go and I really hope that the Vivo will not change because if the Vivo stays like this, it's going to really be better in state performance. Again, with this June firmware, let's continue. We are approaching the end of the test with the 43.7 Celsius on the S24 Ultra and steadily more than 50 Celsius on the Vivo X100 Ultra and as I speak the results are here. So let's try to read it guys. Performance. The maximum performance on the S24 Ultra was 543 which is higher than the maximum performance on the Vivo X100 Ultra which was 499. So here the S24 Ultra wins in terms of maximum performance. But then again the idea of this test and this is why I am calling it a torture test is to run for one hour and you can just see what has happened. The minimal performance on the S24 Ultra is 285, which is significantly lower than the minimum performance of the Vivo X100 Ultra, that is 319. And guys, now the most important value here is the average performance. In that case, on the S24 Ultra, we do have 353, which is then again lower than the 392 on the Vivo X100 Ultra. And how does this translate the maximum to the minimal performance and the average one? Well, the Vivo X100 Ultra throttled to 69% of its maximum performance. And sadly, the S24 Ultra throttled to 55% of its maximum performance, which is again not really a dramatic difference but there is a difference and it's there and if you also analyze the graphs you'll see that the Vivo X100 Ultra was able to maintain a better performance over the course of this one hour torture test remember not with 20 threads but with 100 threads in that case the S24 Ultra we throttle down to 55% which means that at some point specifically when we see here the orange and red area the phone was working with only 55% of its performance and the Vivo was able to give you 69% of that performance, which is actually why in that case, the sustained performance of the Vivo X100 Ultra was bigger. Now again, it is surprising because honestly, I've been looking and doing this test since years and I got better results on the S23 Ultra, 40 still on the S24 Ultra, 46, you see even the S24 Ultra is running lower in terms of temperature. But then again, the Vivo X100 Ultra was giving the better performance over this 60 minutes, guys, compared to the S24 Ultra. I hope that Samsung can address this because again, this is something that definitely can be improved. If you like videos like this, don't forget hit the like button, guys, sub for the channel, 
um, please watch some of the previous videos that are related to the performance comparison between the S24 Ultra and the Vivo X100 Ultra. Thank you so much for watching guys, stay safe, VST over and bye!